Hey guys, it's me, Xbo here. Welcome to my first video, and today I'm going to be doing a guide on the Croc. Because when I first used the Croc, I was complete garbage with him. So today I'm going to show you how to use him, what builds to use and what I'm trying to use. So this is my current build right here. Uh, uh, third build. But the other two are also options. Second one, I was just an experimental build, don't do that. And that's, oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well that's, that's annoying, I'll just get this instead. Anyways, when I first used Necroth, I was really bad with him. Because Necroth easily has one of the highest skill gaps in the game. And no new player is going to use him. But my first purchase ever was Necroth, and I was so bad with him. Uh, when I first started, I was in the NA server, but I'm in the EU server now. Anyways, uh... Okay, screw, screw this guy. I've gotten a better hang with him, and after... A bit of practice, I've gotten used to him. He's just gotta learn his combos and um, learn, you have to learn how to roam and jungle and all that stuff. So, first of all, you'll want to start with the blue buff side so that once you're done jungling, you'll have the red buff. And essentially, what the red buff does is it slows down his enemy and also burns them when you attack them. And Necroth is essential, or Necroth needs this because his ultimate has to land for it to be useful. So already my teammates are getting uh, kills, which is nice, because I don't have to rely on roaming as early. But I will anyways, of course, just because it's my job. So there's really no nowhere to go, but I see Xanus over here, so I'm going to try just to harass him a bit. Maybe even kill him. So right there, as you can see, that was not a good play by me, actually, because I got control right away. But just use your, your ultimates on your main source of damage. Your main source of damage will be your normal attacks and some critical hits. Alright, so right here we got a Grack. I don't have my ultimate yet, but I'm gonna try to uh, just hit him a few times until I get my ultimate. And there we go. Now that's an unusual combo. That one's a little bit tricky to use. You'll have to rely on your teammates with that one, but if your teammates are, are controlling, then that's a really good uh, combo. So, um, let's see. His usual combo is just his first ability, first activation, and then his ultimate. Because what happens is, his first ability, uh, right there, the first activation, it lets, it knocks a player into the air. And what this allows you to do is, when they're in the air, you can activate your ultimate without having to worry about getting controlled, because your ultimate is immune to control. So, I didn't finish that one off, oops. But anyways, what happens is, it's just really useful for uh, getting your ultimate off. And then your ultimate adds an extra bit of control just because the last hit knocks the enemy into the air once again. And it lets him get a good chain of attacks off. So your teammates can hopefully uh, finish off the player. Either that or just finish him off with your second ability and, and you hit. And for those, those of you who don't know yet, your second ability, once you dash, your next normal attack deals an extra long attack. And I need to go help my teammate. Oh, she's dead. I was talking, so I didn't notice. Don't do that. That was bad by me. So here's the combo I normally use. Okay, well that one is different, because I was uh, attacking Tara, but... Uh, I'm at... There you go. I'm actually surprised that worked. So there are multiple ways to pursue an enemy with Necroft. You can just uh, try using your ultimate right away if you're able to, like I did over there. And then um, go ahead and pursue them with your first ability first to knock them into the air. And then start attacking them with your uh, next few abilities that you have. Like your second ability and your first ability, second activation. So if I do get my ultimate off right away, that'd be really good because I can just attack afterwards with my uh, first ability and my second ability. Let's see. I'm gonna go for some chip on this guy and hopefully pressure him to go away. Alright, thing. Oh gosh, why did you engage? Wait, actually I can get Xanus right here. Maybe even Brack actually. There we go, see? So what I did was, um, as he was getting away, I quickly used my second ability to catch up to him and just finish him off, but Liliana got the kill though, because she's ranged. I don't think I made it in time actually. But if she wasn't there, that would have been my kill, so just saying that that would have been a really good way to pursue someone. 
and make sure to use all your abilities during jungling just because it makes it way more efficient and also um uh they have really short cooldown too but you do need blue buff blue buff is definitely very important for necroth because without his mana he's very useless because his normal attack without any of his abilities are really bad because um his passive lets him get faster attack speed with every activation of an ability so there we go that's what i normally do i just go for uh first ability activation and then finish it off my ultimate but that time i couldn't get her because she was too tanky so necroth should only target uh really low players like adcs and mages she's not very good or he's not very good against them anything else like tanks there's no way he's gonna solo a tank unless a really bad tank or something okay right here i think i have an opportunity to kill someone so i'm gonna that was a really risky kill, but I got really lucky with that though, so don't do that if you're new. That's a really risky play, and you need a little bit of luck with that. So for those of you who didn't see what I just did, um, I jumped in with my first ability, as usual, and my ultimate, and then I, I slowed her with my frostbite because I didn't have the red buff to slow her. And essentially that let me slow her down and kill her, but I barely made it out alive though. But that's my usual combo right there. First ability of her activation, and then um, finish it off. You know, actually, once your ultimate's level 3, you can actually try using it on monsters just to make it faster. Because it's a short cooldown at level 3. Like 15 seconds. You'll be fine without it for 15 seconds. Unless you get into a team fight right away, then save it. Oh, stop. Don't, don't take my jungle. Macroth needs to get a really good early game. Because he's so bad late game, trust me. Finish the game as fast as you can. If you don't, you're screwed. That's just fact, I'm sorry. So that's why I'm using Leviathan, actually. If you're new, you can use the Scorching Wind build right there as my first build. Because it's really good for new players. Just because uh, some new players don't have the attack speed or Kana. And so, uh, that's a thing. I'll put the Arcana out of the video, too. So you guys can go back and look at that if you want to. So I'm actually pretty confident I can kill uh, Xanus and Crixie. There we go. So yeah, see right there, since I'm so fed early game, that I was managed to kill them right now. If they were fed, there's no way I could have killed them. That's why Necroft needs to roam right away. Unless uh, these are doing fine without uh, roaming. But definitely do roam, especially in the higher ranks. Uh, right now I'm in Diamond, by the way. <laughs> Just free as now. Necroth's still viable in any rank, especially the lower ranks, so that's, that's when people don't know how to counter Necroth at all. Oh, that's bad. I did not get my first ability stun off yet. Ooh, that was so lucky. And they're doing good, actually. Okay, now they're dying. Never mind. But literally, I'll never help them. Oh. Oh. Damn, that, that's a shame. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to jungling now, just because I need to get my farm up. He Necroft's really good with once he gets a Spear of Longinus, and then afterwards he can just do whatever he wants. I keep making a dumb mistake of uh, overestimating how strong I am and leaving the monsters to just die. <laughs> but it's not really working out, obviously, because I just jump away from it before I kill it. Alright, so, um, Abyssal Dragon, by the way. I haven't been getting it at all, just because we've been doing really good this game. But in a, in a normal game, you might get it at level 4. Or level 6. So, for level 6, that's a perfect time. But we were so good, I just didn't care about it, so... But don't do what I just did. Do get it earlier, please. Oh, I got a kill stolen. Feels bad, man. Oh, I, can, I, can, I, can, I think I can do it. Oh no, she kills the what? Uh, I'm disappointed. Cool. Alright, I feel pretty good right now. So I'll get Fafner's Talon next just because I have so much attack speed. So for this build, you need to get Fafner's Talon for the attack speed or Fenrir's Tooth. I like Fafner's Talon more just because of the attack speed that I have. 
So oh. it's good for killing tanky kids. But I don't... You don't need it, though. You can just go for Fenris Tooth. You're gonna go for Squishy Killer. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm too low to fight right now. I'm gonna go get some Life Steal back. So yeah, this build's really good for Life Steal too, just because of the Omni Arms and the uh, the Factor's Talon. Unless you're gonna go Fenders, then you should probably get Life Steal Arcana, like more of it, <laughs> more so than the, what I said in the beginning. Oh no, no, my perfect stats. <laughs> All right, but that was we're doing good so far though. So, let's pre-order that really quick. <coughs> so, for the last item, you can, if you go for Patrick's Talon for your fifth item, for your last item, you can either get Medallion of Shoy or Fenders 2. It's your choice. Some people go for Muramasa if it seems really tanky. I don't really like Muramasa on the craft, but it's, it's still a good item either way. Alright, so, so far, the game... So their team is actually not as bad as us, but the problem is they're starting to catch up to us and once it once they catch up, I'm screwed because Necroth is not good late game. You want to finish the game as fast as you can by lane pushing if you can. Now I've been going for kills to support my teammates, but lane pushing is also a viable option for Necroth. Or split pushing if you want. But I think team fights with Necroth are more important than lane pushing. But now I'm gonna, I might have to go for a split pushing just to finish the game faster. Alright, let me get this Quixie really fast. Oh, okay. My whole team's here. I'm good. Alright, so their whole team's dead. Let's go for mid because there's minions over here. Oops. Alright, let's go for this. Let's finish the game off. Alright, so that's how you guys use Necroft. I hope you learned something from the video. Um, I'll be putting more detailed instructions uh, in text post-editing. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe. This is my first video, so give me some feedback and uh, request a video from me.